Oh, hello. Hey, it's good to see you all again. It's always fun for me to have this time. I hope you're having a great day. I appreciate you spending a little time with me. You know, I was thinking that one of the things that everyone deals with is the whole area of failure. And it is so important for people to handle failure correctly. You know, so I, I jogged down six, jotted down five, no, how many here? One, two, three, four things about failure. I call them the nevers, the four nevers. These are four things you never do dealing with failure. And the first one is never, never let failure weaken your relationship with God. How many times have you heard somebody say that they're mad at God? You know, they had a failure or something didn't come through. Uh, you know, God, why did you let this happen? Uh, well, let me just assure you of a couple of things. One is that everything that happens isn't God's will. And I don't have time to go into that in depth, but if we're sitting here looking at you and looking at God in the midst of a failure, I can promise you, just take my word for it, that the cause of failure is always going to be on our side, never on God's side. It's never a lack of God's love. It's never a lack of God's provision. So don't let a failure come between you and your relationship with the Lord. Another thing, another never, is never uh, let failure uh, be defeat or add up to defeat or mean defeat. Uh, in other words, failure should not be the end of the story. Okay, you had a failure, but my goodness, look in the Bible. You look in the Bible, so did Moses, so did Abraham, so did David, so did Peter, so did Paul. Matter of fact, if you go over to Hebrews chapter 11, where it talks about the hall of faith and it lists all of these great faith people, go through that list. Every single one of them had failures. And so that is just a part of life. Another thing is never let failure define your identity. And what I mean by that is failing does not make you a failure. Okay, so you failed at something, but that is not your identity. Don't be going around. Christians should never, ever say the statement, oh, I'm such a failure. Man, because when you know that Christ lives in you, Christ is our identity. Matter of fact, our identity is not on our accomplishments or non-accomplishments, but Christ is our identity. Praise God. So we're not perfect. We're not, we don't have this whole thing down, but Christ is our identity. And then the last one I want to give you is never let failure define or limit your future. Praise the Lord. How many times have you seen people that you know that because of a failure or something didn't turn out the way they wanted it to, what did they do? Well, I'm never going to experience that again. I'm not going to go through that disappointment. So it's kind of like they build these little safety nets all around their life where they're never going to step out and believe God or do anything that may have a little risk to it because they don't want to go through that. But what they don't realize is those safety nets that they have built around their lives are actually also walls that they're building around. It actually becomes their prison. You know, people, when they ask the elderly, people that are in their last years of life, if you could do one thing over, what would it be? The number one answer is always take more risks. They played life way too safe. Why? Because, well, they didn't want to experience any failures or, you know, something like that. But let, let me just let, I would rather be a person that went for it and failed rather than to be a person who does nothing and succeed every time. It's kind of like, I could say it this way, I'd rather shoot at the moon and miss rather than aim at nothing and hit it every time. You know, there's a, uh, a soccer player by the name of Kyle Rote Jr. He made this statement was a few years ago, but he said this, he says, there is no doubt in my mind that there are many ways for a person to be a winner. But there is only one way to be a loser, and that is to fail and not look past the failure. So I just want to encourage you today. Yeah, you may, you may even be in a mess right now, in a mess maybe that you created. But I am telling you, that mess is not your identity. Christ lives in you, and I just want to tell you that he has made you a winner.